Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a, a multilingual uh, website using Wix. It's actually really easy, it won't take too long to, uh, to explain how to do it, uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Uh, so of course let's go ahead to Wix, we're going to need to log in uh, and use any of your um, uh, preferred ways to log in. You can go through Google, you can go through Facebook, you can go through Apple, um, but I'm just going to use my email for this one. So uh, after you log in, you'll end up in your uh, your dashboard here. Uh, so for this one, we're going to actually just go to the search bar on the top corner uh, of the, uh, the dashboard. So we're going to look at uh, look for multilingual and then uh, for that one we are going to click the top uh, button here which is the make a wix multilingual and then it will take us to the app itself and then we're going to just add this to the site uh, and click here and then it'll take us to the editor afterwards. So let's go. Let's just go ahead and click that one. So you can pick so many different languages, uh, 180 plus languages. It'll translate the way you want by yourself with a site collaborator or via machi machine translation. You can even boost traffic sales and organic presence in multiple countries. Localize your images and settings. Uh, so you can also. Uh, change the dates and currency to any of the regional standards that you might have based on where your business is or where your website is mainly targeting uh, its uh, customer base. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so that's it's pretty good. It's very reliable. Um, but first, let's go ahead to click Manage Apps here. And then uh, just complete the setup. And we'll end up at the website editor. It'll take us to the website that we have currently. Uh, but it'll just take a second here to load up all the assets. Uh, so this is just a, a sample template that I had previously. Uh, it's going to be adding all the apps here. And then, okay, there we go. It's all good. And then we go ahead and add elements uh, let's add okay. let's add a section which one, where was it again uh, let's go ahead and look that up which is the multi lingual there it is open so it'll just open there it'll send us back to the app market um, Although I thought I already added it to my website. I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay. So I clicked it again. Uh, all right, there we go. So it's it's actually setting up now. I don't know why that did not uh, set up in the first place. But it'll take you to this setup a little window here. Then you can select which uh, language is your main language for your website. So, of course, uh, we're going to be uh, putting in English. Uh, and depending on uh, which English speaking country your website is targeting or where you are at sp uh, specifically um, for your business, you can select the United States, you can select the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, Angola, UAE. Uh, so many different options. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, all of these apparently are English speaking countries. But for this one, we're just going to pick uh, the US and then click continue. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it's taking a little bit to load here. Okay, so now we can also add a new language. Uh, let's, since it's the US, so it's either Canada or Mexico that is related. So let's go ahead and add Spanish, since those are the two websites. Uh, so it says here Spain, but since we are selecting uh, the US as your our main uh, language. 
uh, meaning our website is mainly targeting uh, the US audience or our market. Uh, let's go ahead and click Mexico since that is the uh, neighboring country that America has at the south. And then you can also make your site visible, visible to visitors. You can also click auto translate site content. So it'll immediately uh, translate everything if you switch through the uh, language option. So let's go ahead and add that. And then we can go back to the editor. It'll send us back. And uh, it's gonna take to, <laughs> take a little bit to load back in again. And uh, then we'll be able to change the language options that we have for the website. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Oops, um, oh no. Quick edit. Let's add. Okay, there we go. So I just needed to double click that. We can move this anywhere we want. Uh, and then we can also change uh, a bunch of th different things. We can uh, add more languages if you want, manage the languages. So if we want to say delete a language, we can also do that. But for now, let's, let's, uh, let's skip that for now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do to it. We can change the layout. Uh, we can make it drop down. We can make it horizontal. So it'll show all the different flags depending on the uh, language we set up. We can also have abbreviations uh, only or flags or uh, have the full name. We can also uh, change the design if you want to. Then we can also add animation. So have some sliding animations there, a bunch of other customization options. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that is how you add uh, multiple languages into your website it's pretty it's pretty simple pretty easy uh, as i mentioned uh and uh, that's all uh, so thank you for watching the video hopefully it has been quite helpful to you and uh if it has uh, make sure to like the video and uh, leave a comment down below uh, please uh, make sure to click subscribe as well and i uh, hope to see you again next time bye